Yes, it is, Alicia. Good morning to you. We're actually fresh off of National Mentoring Month, and foster advocates say that mentors can make all the difference in a foster youth's life, and it could mean a potentially lifelong friendship. As much as I'm giving to her, I feel like she's enriched my life in so many ways. A selfie between mentor and mentee. Krista Yonke says Child Safe Michigan introduced her to this young lady, who will call Lisa, four and a half years ago. Ten years old at the time, Lisa was in foster care. Yonke says the motivation to become a foster youth mentor came about after hearing a panel of other young women who are aging out of the foster system. And they were talking about how difficult it is to just navigate that stage of life, um, early adulthood, when they're coming from situations where they don't have a big family support network and how few resources there are for them. And I was really moved by their stories and thought, you know, I could find time um, in my schedule to be a part of the solution for that. So once or twice a month, Yonke and Lisa connect. We go do fun things around town together. I've just really enjoyed getting to know her and um, enjoy and just find it meaningful that I can be a consistent, um, positive adult presence in her life. Khadijah walker Fobbs, Chief Strategy Officer of the Judson Center, says there is a revolving need for mentors, and the sign-up process to get matched after a background check is simple. She says a little guidance and a listening ear can go a long way. Having that helps your mental health. You know, we know that statistics show us that young people who have mentors are um, less likely to run into drug addiction and substance abuse issues. We know that they report feeling happier and healthier. You're gonna really make a difference in someone's life. You're gonna get to see them grow and become, you know, the person who they're going to be. Now, Walker 5 says that there is a particular need for male mentors in the Wayne County area, but of course they need mentors. All are welcome all throughout Metro. Detroit and she, she also says that there's a need for foster parents so if you're interested we will make sure to get a link to the Judson Center as well as Child Safe Michigan by uh, going to our website WXYZ.com reporting live this morning Darren Cunningham 7 Action News.